The Anarchy Gods actually spoke to me, and I found a red and black Fred, Fred Perry poll at Rumors today. And so I thought, you know what? He's fucking out here. Let's talk to him. <laughs> yeah. That's great. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I figured I'd come and talk to Bunk Cal? I'm Tyler. Right? Nice to Tyler. All right, so ask me the question. How is voting immoral? Great question. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to ask you three simple questions, and then we're going to talk about the hidden lines behind voting in the state. Okay. In your day-to-day -day life, do you use violence to solve problems? Violence to solve problems. You can yell, you can scream, break their own things. That's aggression, yeah. right? Violence yeah. is defined as like placing a person in an involuntary position without their consent of choice. Sure. Right? Okay, great. So then the second question would be is, with the exception of self-defense, of yourself and others, would you consider it wrong and immoral to initiate that violence? Yes. Right? Because self-defense is not violence, yeah. it's self-preservation, yeah. right? Yeah. Property rights begins with owning yourself, so ownership, owning your body, and owning your actions. And you stand up for people. Right? Yeah, of course. All right, so the third question would be is, would you therefore consider it wrong and immoral to violently force your ideas onto other people? That's kind of a messy kind of situation yeah, like, like talking and stuff like that. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it can be done, um, but I think if it's the final straw and, and your voice isn't heard, then, like in the instance of the animal liberation, right. I'm a vegan. Right. Pretty radical vegan. Right. And so I think in the sense of, you know, if you've done all you can to shut that ice water out. Okay, but all right, so so animals and environment stuff like that, but and I, I thought about a lot of that stuff. I had a whoop dog growing up, right? Okay. Oh. Um, so for me, looking about the looking at our priorities, it's like, well let's let's end first the violence between each other. Yes. Right? I mean this is more than just state violence. Let's end the violence between each other also. Let's end yeah. the violence we do to children, right? Mm -hmm. And through that extension. We'll take better care of animals. Of course. that extension, we can take better care of the, animal, uh, the environment. Yeah, you know? of course. Liberate, of course. Li liberate our community from the idea that violence will set us free. And from that extension, people will start turning around. It's like, well, shit, you know, the, I took better taking care of, of my animals. Yeah, too, yeah, right? yeah, building communities rather than, you know, building prisons. Right, yeah, exactly. right, right. So I'm on board. I went to uh, the Polyface Farms recently. Oh, uh, really? Right yeah, on. That, that was, so, no, yeah. that's, I'm on board with a lot of this stuff. Yeah, 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 definitely. Um, awesome. I didn't see Joel, but you know, hopefully yeah. next time I'll take his lunatic take tours and go out there yeah, and yeah, see Yeah, yeah, right on. Um, all right, so that's so I guess, um, would, would you violently force your ideas onto other people, right? I'm just trying to know the human being, right? Yeah. Um, all right, so, so you just told me your day-to-day -day life, you have a plurality of non-violent solutions that you apply and use, mm -hmm. right? Um, and, and, and so the state says, look, well, they're voting is another way we can solve problems, right? We're a community of individual people, we want to solve problems too, yeah. right? And uh, so if it's wrong and immoral to violently force your ideas, how is voting any different? Voting by definition means advocating for another person to force your ideas on everyone else, right? And people can say like, well, you know, what if I write none of the above or nobody on there? It's like, well, then you're just, you're not voting. You're just wasting a piece of paper, Yeah. right? Uh, so, uh, so, so seeing that, uh, the state says, well, if they're voting, we can solve problems. So people mm -hmm. vote. And with their ideas to solving problems, they elect a politician, yeah. right? That politician. His only or her only job is to legislate those ideas into laws. Mm -hmm. And those laws or ideas are backed and enforced by the police at gunpoint. Right? Yeah. So once you, you smoke a plant, right? So you're kidnapped, arrested, burned to a cage, a prison. Yeah. At any point you resist, any point you disagree with those ideas, you're making more violence, or mm -hmm. something shot, murdered, right? And the system knows how to solve problems in one way, and that's through violence. Mm -hmm. Because it's even funded through more violence. At no point can you say, I want to help the poor, I want to help the animals, but I don't want to fund war. Right? I don't want to find all of these, these, these uh, military intervention attacks all over the country, right? I was yeah. in the military too, so I thought I was defending our freedoms too. Yeah. But you look at the rate of, the, of our freedoms, we keep losing more and more freedoms, and government is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, just look at the National Defense Authorization Act that was passed over here. Yeah. When everyone's inebriated, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like their own version of the Tet Offensive, right? When everyone's drunk on their own holiday, they pass the measure out there through. Uh, so that's that's the hidden violence, because at no point you, you have no choice of where your money goes to, right? You have to give it your money. You have to give it your property. You have to give it your taxes. Because if you did have a freedom of choice, they wouldn't threaten you with cages if you didn't pay your taxes, yeah. right? Uh, and so that's the hidden violence. That's the hidden violence behind voting. That's a participation in state. That's a participation in the system of violence, yes. right? And uh, so this system only knows how to solve problems in one way, and that's violence. A singular way versus the plurality of nonviolent solutions that all of us do, all of us apply in our day-to-day -day lives. So the solution would be to just turn away from the state. Salvation does not come from one man. So salvation does not come from politicians or from, from this idea that we have to wait every four years to mm -hmm. vote for change, right? Yeah. We can create so much change in one day by just talking to each other about freedom, talking about philosophy, yeah. talking about nonviolence, to unite our community, yeah. right, for nonviolence. Not just human beings, for animals too, though, right? Yeah, yeah of course. And, and, and to unite our community for, for values, right? 
right? For, for non-violence, for equality, for freedom. Mm -hmm. And that's the best form of self-defense anyone can have against any one would-be aggression. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So Sir Hossa says it, right? Mm -hmm. When this whole community is united and some would-be, I don't know, uh, someone who wants to come and rob, rape, steal, uh, murder comes into our community, where you just gonna say, like, oh, fuck Richmond, I'm not gonna go there, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. Because this whole place is kind of united on that front. That's the best form of like superhero team. Unlike Batman going out there trying to fight people with violence and stuff like that, more bad guys are just gonna, gonna come up and take their place, right? Yeah. And that fight continues, continues, and continues. And those comic books always retcon and retcon and retcon, yeah, yeah, yeah. and it never ends. It never ends because he never really went at the source of the solution for the values. People don't have these consistent values, right? People have been told and taught to, um, we've been misled to believe that we can't trust each other. Right, we've grown up in a, in a way that uh, we are so fearful of each other that we need laws to protect ourselves. Right, we need laws. That the only thing that's protecting you and me is the state. Yeah. Right. Uh -huh. uh, our friendships. Right. Like, hey, I thought we had something more than that. You know, I thought our friendship was found in a little bit something more than that. Yeah. You know, some sort of social construct. Right. Together. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So let's create a real community. That's what this is about. That's what liberate our. Yeah, I'm about. glad. I'm glad. I'm glad to see this. It's awesome. Yeah. It's so nice to see people out here like this and share the same. Oh, this, this is awesome. No, yeah, yeah. We're going to have a freedom gathering on the 29th. It's, it's been growing. We have the a lot 29th. of people. Okay, yeah. yeah. Is there any way I could help out yes. at all? Yes, yeah. yes. Every, you, every, you can definitely help out. Everyone can help out. Yeah, of uh, And all we have to do is just talk to people about this, right? If you have your own, um, you're talking about like Animal Liberation Fund and stuff like that, like your ideas you want to share, pretty much that's, that's what we're looking for. All these different ideas to of bring course. it to the table. Let's yeah. talk about this stuff. Yeah, um, I love it. I yeah. love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be more than that. Liberate VA. RBA, Richmond, Virginia. Liberated RBA, okay. Yeah. Liberator, okay. So it's a freedom movement. It's already spread from Richmond. So now there's uh, Liberated Rochester, New York, Liberated yeah, Castle, Delaware, awesome. Liberated Rally in uh, North Carolina, Liberated Bemidji in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. There's going to be one in Miami soon. It's that's a real freedom movement yeah. with consistency, with the real message that anyone who's a part of this can also speak for the movement. Yeah, right? Of course. Um, and it's a simple, one simple message violence when I set us free, with no exceptions, right? The exceptions begets more exceptions, violence begets more violence, yeah. right? And that's kind of where we have to kind of pull it from the roots, right? Mm -hmm. Stop, you know, trimming off the top with more laws and being right. Yeah, just destructing the foundation. You know, I mean, that's a lot of the issues that people I come across with in my, because I'm a political science major, so coming across people that, you know, don't believe in a utopia, like, no, the, when you call it a utopia, you're already making it unattainable. Right. You know, you want to be able to, like, you know, build a community where we can actually work together towards a greater good rather right. than, you know, ostracizing one another and, you know, really, like, just self-policing, self-surveillance and stuff like that. Like, go out there and say, fuck surveillance, you know? Right. And that's a big thing that, you know, I think it's awesome. And I never knew that it was like this. So yeah. It's fucking rad. All right. And you don't want a utopia. We always want to get to a better place. Exactly. Right? Utopia implies that everything's perfect. And that's not what I want. I want there to always be problems. I want there to always be ways so we can make things better. Yeah. Right? Uh, I'm, I'm not, uh, Utopia will seem like stagnation, idleness, right? It's like, all right, we're, we're done. What now? Right? Yeah. I want to keep going. I want to get off this rock. Right? I'm that's go. why I think Utopia is fluid. Right. I think, you know, that Utopia is we've made it there. We've gotten, you know, we fixed some problem. Let's find another problem to fix. And I think that's why I think Utopia is such a good idea to see as fluid rather than, uh, Continuity, right. where you know, like you said, it's stagnant. It's just there. It's just hanging out. And now, what do we do? Right. That's why I like a fluid utopia, where we can just keep moving forward. Right. It's in okay. the direction. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like the we, compass here, right? Going yeah. north. Morality is like that. Let go of old ideas. Let's adopt some new ideas, right? Don't let culture hold us back, right? Yeah. That puts the cold in culture, right? Let's keep going forward. Let's keep exactly. going in that direction. But yeah. we can never go there with inconsistency. We can never go there on a foundation of violence, yeah. right? Of course. That just holds us back, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh, no, this is great. Oh, all right, great. Yeah. Um, I'm on Facebook. You'll find me on there. Cal with the K. Uh, Cal with Cal the K. Ripken, but, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I'll definitely hit you up. I'll find you on Facebook, and I would love to talk to you more. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be doing this like every day. Every I week. see. I saw <laughs> last year I believe yeah. um, around here and back then I sort of I mean my dad I, I love my dad to death he sort of instilled my values in me of you're going to work for the defense intelligence agency right. and you're going to do this you're going to do that now I'm finally able to take my own direction you know studying gender studies studying African American studies and stuff like that and just studying liberation as a whole okay. so it's really good to see it especially with this election year and all the scumbags that are are currently voting for because that's why I came up with I constantly get asked this every day like you know do you register to vote and I'm thinking well yeah I did but I don't know if I want to vote because I hate the idea that we have to vote for the less bad guy. 
Right. You know, it doesn't make sense to me. Like they say, good for the lesser evils, but evil is still evil. Yeah, like, rape yeah. is still rape. You know, exactly. Come on. Yeah, and so I finally realized, like, it just came to me like an epiphany. Like, fuck voting. Why would I do that? Because, right. I mean, I, it's just like, why would I want to vote for somebody up here when they're never going to be able to speak to me down there? Right. And you know, because we're all down here. Like, there's no sort of middle, and, and that's what I don't like about it. And you know, that's why I do see voting as you know immoral and just counterproductive. Right. We're not getting towards any sort of, you know, we're not going in any sort of direction like this way. Right. It's taking, you know, a step forward and then two steps back after the election is ended. So. Right. The change, change doesn't happen overseas. It doesn't happen in a White House. In yeah, yeah. It happens first with ourselves, right? Exactly. It happens first at home in our own community, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and if, if people like that, what's happening so much, we put that spotlight in the air for freedom. Mm -hmm. People will see that. People will copy and edit and create their own version. And people, and that's what this freedom movement has done, right? Exactly. And that's, yeah. that's what we need to do. Let's not go over there and intervene and tell them how freedom should be done. Let's do it first in our own yeah, community. Yeah, yeah. Right? right? It, doesn't, it doesn't trickle down. It moves up. Right. You know, and that's the big thing. Understand, and that's why you know I totally agree with you. Building the communities, we are at the grassroots. We are the new growth of right. the grass. You know that we need to instill in our generations. So change doesn't happen overnight. So oh, this is great. Yeah. yeah. And this is about also combining all these issues, like the issues you just told me earlier about, mm -hmm. right? Uh, the things we do to animals. So let's combine all these issues that we have, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it, we've kind of created different sets of issues, but all of these issues are important. All these values are important, but let's combine all these values and push them forward together. Yeah, right on. Right, right on. Yeah, I love it. All right, well, I have to, yeah, I have man. to go off to do some It's a pleasure study. to talk to you. Yeah, it was a pleasure. All right, man. You have a good one, all right? You take care.